Hi guys, welcome to Cake Buzz. And today we're just gonna go over just some standard borders. Um, you'll need, you won't need a flower nail for this one. You'll just need some icing and a bag and a coupler and a 22 tip like this or something similar. It doesn't have to be exactly this number. Uh, they make smaller ones and larger ones in a star tip like this. So just any of them will do. A 22 is the best, it's kind of standard. It uh, works the best for me. So just get all your stuff together, come on back, and we'll get started. Okay, so we have our 22 tip in place and we're gonna put it down at an angle like this. Can you see? An angle like this right next to your cake. Get you a comfortable grip on it. Squeeze and pull down. Let release and pull down. Squeeze, release and pull down. Squeeze, release and pull down. That's your standard shell border. The pressure and the angle is the most important part on this. When you're squeezing, you need to quit squeezing when you get your little shell about as big as you want. And I always said, you know, you can make any kind of border out of any kind of tip, really, as long as it's consistent, the same size, and there's a pattern to it. You can make these shells close together. You can make them big. You can make them long. They don't all have to be the same. You be creative and do it any way you want to. There's, there's a couple of different kinds. We'll go right over here. And on this side, we'll make ro a rosette border. And all you do on it is just squeeze and a little circle release. Squeeze in a little circle and release. You do that all the way around the outside of your cake. And that's another quick, easy, simple border. Just hold it barely off of your cake and just keep it consistent. The same size every time. There you go. Then we'll do another pretty simple and easy one. I don't really know what this one's called, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway. And you just do loops is all it is. So you start here, go on a loop, go up, go on a loop, go up, go on a loop. That's a really bo pretty border too, and it's really easy for beginner beginners to learn. At the beginning of cake decorating, you don't always have the best hand strength. So as you're building that up, pick things that are a little simpler to do until you can do everything a little better. You can do a variation of this one also. You can. Do one loop up, one loop down, two loops up, one loop down. You can do that all the way around your cake. And as you can see, that's pretty fancy looking. And it's easy to do, simple, doesn't take a lot of time. Like I said, the, the main thing with borders is to keep them the same size, the same length apart, and the same I don't know what I'm trying to say. The same, everything. Just keep them consistent. That's what makes them look good. When when some of them's bigger than the other ones and some of them's small and some of them's big and, and they're not the same shape and they're not the same size, that's what makes it look like an amateur did it. So if you just keep them consistently the same size, consistently the same amount of, of apart, it doesn't matter how you do it. It'll look good. <laughs> 